What's up YouTube? This is Gregory Nelson here for a very special video with my friend Henry London. Henry's one of the people I get a good amount of my figures from. We do buying, selling, trading with each other. We even attended last year's WrestleMania together. We sure did. And by last year, I mean the one in 2019, the real WrestleMania that happened, WrestleMania 35. Awesome show. We don't have time to get into it right now because we have so much other stuff to get into. That's right. We are going to be going through... I don't even know how many. Do you know how many figures we're going to go through? Do you even know how many boxes you bought yet? Can't say that I do. Well, let's say Henry called me the other day and said, Dude, I just picked up so many wrestling figures. He knows Jack's classic superstars have this special place in my heart. And he asked me to just go with him as not only a wingman to make sure you didn't die, but we filled both of our cars from bottom to top, full of boxed Jack's Classic Superstars. It's like a once in a lifetime collection pickup, and we're gonna go through everything Henry picked up today. I don't know about you, but I am I know very little about what I got here. I, I only checked out the videos a few times, so I am, I don't even know what, what to say. Well, Henry, how old are you? I'm 19. Henry is 19, I'm 34, and 19, I was going around picking up classics for $10, $15 a piece before all of this craze skyrocketed. But you know, I'm excited to see all of these figures I never was able to pick up as a kid. On top of stuff I've probably never even seen before. So, Henry, let's get into our first figure that we already have in the box here. Let's, let's get right into it. Rhythm and Blues. <laughs> I will be totally honest with you. I don't know a whole lot about the rhythm and blues. Obviously, I grew up, you know, I started watching around 2010, but I did, you know, look at the history behind. I, I, I'm familiar with the history of, of professional wrestling, and I know, obviously, the guys in here are huge stars. I love the attire on this right here. Jax absolutely killed it when it came to soft goods. Even though Jimmy Hart has the rubber jacket and Honky Tonk has the soft goods suit, you still like see those different depths into like what they go to as far as detail goes. I agree. I mean just that just that tie on Jimmy Hart with the piano, that's that's so cool. I mean also all of these figures could be yours unless someone beat you to it. I'm gonna go ahead and let you know that buying and dealing with collectibles is how I pay for my college tuition. I run a store on eBay titled Comet Collectibles and all of these figures below. Link in the description below. <laughs> right down there. Click on it. Uh, definitely, you know, send me a message if you ever want to talk wrestling. If you're, if you ever have any questions about any of these, because these could be yours. So definitely check that out. Awesome. And we're tr we're gonna try to not bore anyone with this. We're gonna just try to keep things going today. So Henry, let's get on with our next. Sounds great. We'll be banging out these three packs first. This is a. This is a fun one. We're looking at the Hart Foundation, Bret Hart, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, and Jimmy Hart. They capture Jimmy Hart's likeness so well on every single figure he comes out with, not to mention his, his uh, attire. I, li I like that attire. I would almost argue I think I like that one more than the previous one. Mm. It's, just, it's, just, it's basic, it's simple, but it, it's, it's very powerful. And something I'm, I'm going to zoom in on here, I've never seen this before, but these tag team championships have a hint of silver, and I love my accessories, and but I've never seen these before. I'm very excited about this set. I think that's that's awesome. I, I've never seen that before, yeah. so this will be a fun one to, to check out. Hell yeah. Let's keep All going. Right. Oh my goodness. Well... We have the Enforcer Arn Anderson, Tully Blanchard, their manager, Bobby the Brain Heenan. I mean, Arn and Tully, they're over in AEW just like making stars right now. And just, I love this set so much. You don't see that hint of silver or even the color in the belts on this set, so. Yeah, I, th I think it's, uh, it's an interesting set. The purple on Heenan really stands out. I like that a lot. Something that's great on this too, I'll point out that this is actually in Spanish as well. Oh, I didn't, didn't, yeah, didn't even all, know that. Not all Jack's classics are like that, so you got a good one here. That's cool. We'll keep let's, going. Let's keep on going. Yeah, we have a lot to get to today. 
I'm filling up Henry's plastic tubs as we go. Oh yeah. Before we dive into this one, I have a question for you. Yeah, what do you got? Do you think that this is the largest unboxing, wrestling figure unboxing on YouTube? Oh no. There's gotta be something bigger, but this is huge. Like, this if there's huge. something bigger than this, if there's something bigger than this, I wanna see it. That makes two of us. Yeah. All right, so we're looking at this set here. We got Ric Flair, Bobby Heenan, Mr. Perfect, and this set is a little off. This looks like it's one of the ones that was taken care of the least. It's heavy on the dust, but you know, it's a great set. It's going to be good for hopefully a loose collector someday. I don't think a mint on box collector is going to have that much interest in this, but it's still a pretty nice set. I agree. I'm going to try to do, a, do what I can to take that dust off a little bit that you're seeing there and uh, see if we can get it back to uh, working order. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Let's keep going. Awesome. Cool. What's next? We've got the fabulous Freebirds here. I love this set. I have all three of these figures loose, except I don't have the robe, and I'm a nut for accessories, and it like kills me that I don't have the robe for that figure. I think it's a cool one. It's got a cool look. I think that the white knee pads on Buddy Roberts uh, really stands out there. I, I oh, like yeah. it. I think it's. <laughs> I think it's all good. The knee pads on my Buddy Roberts figure are disgusting. <laughs> and um, actually, I really like the head skin on this uh, Michael P.S. Hayes because they really capture his likeness better than the new Mattel they just came out with. I'd agree. I'd agree for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Henry, what's next? We've got a fun one here. This one's huge. If you know anything about Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you know that he was a megastar. In the Attitude Era, he, he just was a pioneer. This set is a lot of fun. We've got High Chief Peter Maivia there. I'm loving that accessory right there. I know you're gonna have a lot to say about it. I have this set loose and I just love that accessory. I've even taken that accessory and put it around my Roman Reigns figure as that like tribal chief type of look and it looks so cool. That's cool. I, I, I love that. I'm gonna have a lot of fun checking it out. I'm, I'm honestly really curious because I don't, I've never seen that accessory before. And that's going to be a lot of fun to dig into. Oh yeah, and it's so beautiful seeing everything just so clean inside the box. Stuff this old, it's just uncanny. I love it. Jax did an excellent job on the packaging on these. I think it's it's exactly as it should be. It's consistent. And also, shout out to Jeremy Padauer. Like, oh, right there. <laughs> like, look how similar these look. Jeremy Padauer, he was the head of Jax back in the day. He's, he's a... Uh, He's the head of Jazzwares right now, and they're just crushing it on the current AEW line. Kudos to you, Jeff. Jeremy. Jeremy. All right, next, we have Terry Funk, Cactus Jack, Sabu, in this awesome ECW three-pack. I'm loving this theme here. I, ECW was, I mean, when I look back at, at wrestling, ECW is definitely something that I cherish. It's just so fun watching these guys just just destroy themselves. <laughs> I really yeah. I really love the way that orange on the Sabu pops. Even I though agree. Sabu's just like he's just like known for messing up all of his spots and he's one of the worst wrestlers in my opinion. But I love his action figures. They did a great job. Same with that yellow on that Terry Funk. Oh, the colors just pop. It's the crazy. Colors pop. I also like that they threw in that trash can there too. Really, I love my accessories. Really, really <laughs> brings it to life. Awesome. Okay, so a little bit earlier on, earlier on, I was saying how I run a store on eBay called Comic Collectibles, and this set I recently sold. This exact one here. The one thing that really stuck out to me was if you see on Brutus the Barber Beefcakes. Uh, what do you call it? Are those like little arm tass tassels? Arm yeah. tassels, yeah. I, for some reason, I don't remember seeing them on the one that I got, that I recently sold. So that's, that's kind of interesting. It looks like we're coming across some silly variants with those, you know, the tag title belts and these little arm tassels. Cause me, the nut for accessories have never seen those arm tassels either. Yeah. I mean, I, I think cause it, it, they stand out as you can see. So to, to not notice them, but then see them on this one is, is kind of interesting. Oh yeah. I, I love it. This set, this whole set just pops. Another great Jimmy Hart figure too. Definitely, the, the colors all match the red and yellow. Really, really do it justice. It's awesome. <laughs> Makes me want McDonald's. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, who do we got next? This set is pretty rare. I remember this one. Um, 
it's one of the first few that you have this cane, but like, I don't remember Kane having this attire where he had the one sleeve, but also had the mask where the mouth hole was cut open. So like, it's a little bit of a, like a gray area in my, you know, wrestling history, but you know, it's overall a great set. They always killed it with every single Undertaker. It looks really cool. I see what you mean by that cane. Uh, I'm, I'm used to seeing the mask cover the entire face. Yeah, and unless when he's in that attire with the tank top and his, yeah, and his yeah, mouth yeah. is open. But For you never sure. see that closed mask, or you never see that open mask with that, you know, the lower body attire here. Very, very cool. The Paul Bearer, though, is a little tall for like the likeness of the other figures, but that's Jax for you. Their scale is all the same, regardless of how beautiful they are. Yeah, I, I, I think that uh, I do notice his knees are a little bit bent on that figure. So um, actually, if anything, that would make it look even taller. So I, I take that back. <laughs> awesome. All right. Let's keep going. Look, uh, we're looking at Captain Lou Albano in the Wild Samoans. That's a really cool set. I love uh, the red on that figure. I remember picking up the Mattel version of this of these when they were a Target exclusive, and I think the attire was yellow on that one. So yeah, this this is a cool one. Also, they come with the belts, which is always a welcoming addition there. Now I might be mistaken, but I think either a different two pack. We might find that two pack later, but there was a two pack where they had like a like the the Samoan wraps around their waist. So we might come across that two pack. We don't know what's in these boxes, so we'll find out. I think that the wraps that you were referring to are actually called sarongs. That's what yeah. Umaga and uh, the Wild Samoans wore, and uh, anyone with that. And uh, that Peter Maivia yeah. figure we just came across. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Let's continue. You've got a fun one. I love fun ones. All right, Henry, tell us who we're looking at next. We've got King Kong Bundy, Nikolai Volkov, and the Iron Sheik. I love the color variation here. You got this blue that pops, this red that pops, and then you got King Kong in black. What's that brand that's all about like taste the rainbow? Because I feel like I'm looking at a rainbow. I think we're talking about Skittles here. <laughs> how can I forget? If you're watching this around October, happy Halloween. <laughs> We've got King Kong Bunny here, which is looking uh, looking just very authentic. Oh, and that head scan crushes it. Also, like the soft goods and that furry hat on a uh, Volkov is just like drawing me to it. I don't have a Volkov figure, so you don't. Like, I love it. That's cool. I know, uh, I think Mattel came out with this uh, attire on a Mattel figure, but I think that this one really captures the likeness. I love that hat, like you were saying. Yeah, it's you definitely so got cool. some good pieces here. I'm excited for you. Absolutely. I think that just about wraps up our three packs. Let's Jeez. move right along. All right, Henry, this one's a bit rough looking, but tell us what we're looking at. We've got what looks like the golden, I'm sorry, Colonel Mustafa. Is that, is he like related to Mustafa Ali or something? And then know. also <laughs> Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, we've got uh, Colonel Mustafa and Sergeant Slaughter. I'll be honest, I don't know a ton about it, but I think that that, that American flag jacket looks really cool. Henry, I need to bring something to your attention. What's going on here? This two pack does not resemble who is on the side of the box. I think oh, that's, might, that's Hulk Hogan. We either that's have Hulk a box Hogan. error or we have a rebox here because now it's Hulk Hogan. I was I was gonna say and like there's there's no like that is Hulk Hogan. There's unless that is 100% a custom. I believe this has been opened. Oh yeah. We're going to do some research and actually find out what's going on with this set because if I'm correct, the bottom half of this Hulk Hogan body either comes from a Sergeant Slaughter or a Spike Dudley figure. People, if you know what the deal is with this figure, please. Please tell us. <laughs> please drop a comment below. I saw this in your original videos you were sending me. I'm like, I don't recognize that set. I'm interested in getting my hands on that one. It's interesting. Also, for what it's worth, you know, the packaging obviously isn't in the, in the best shape with that little uh, um, cut you got there, the yeah. tear. So we'll, we'll do some research here, but, but interesting find. I'm excited. Interesting find. Okay. This is interesting. This is the actual set. 100% that's the actual set you just pulled out. That, that... 
that must be. So, wh which means that the other set must have been either a customized thing, uh, who, who knows? Yeah. I can't wait to research this more. <laughs> we will, we will definitely, definitely check that out. So yeah, we have Colonel Mustafa here, Sergeant Slaughter. If you're a fan of the 80s, you definitely know their storyline. And you know, they did a great job on these. I think it looks cool, yeah. The, the attires are simple. You know, it's, it, it, they look like a, a colonel and a sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Let's, uh, let's continue. We've got... We we've got, got a, a good cool one? one. We got a we've good got a one? Cool one. <laughs> I'll preface this with saying it's a ringside exclusive. I love ringside exclusives. Awesome. Sweet. We're looking at the Kevin Nash, Shawn Michaels two-pack. Um, this was when Diesel, or, or this was more Diesel than yeah, uh, Kevin yeah, Nash, but the, the box is labeled Kevin Nash. Um, you know, this is when he was uh, Shawn Michaels' heater and all that. You know, oh, yeah. They had a great storyline together. Kevin comes with the WWE Championship. Shawn comes with the Intercontinental Championship. And both of these figures just have great head skins, great accessories. And it's awesome, again, for me to just see all of these up close in such great condition. I'm wondering if these are bringing back any memories from when you were... You were coll you collecting these. Yeah, yeah, like all those chills going through my body right now, that's like memories of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy to to play a part in that. This this is looking like a really cool set. I love minor thing, but I love that the attires are blue and they also put on a blue sticker there. Oh, just like little subtle color matching like that just does it for me. I love it. Yeah, 100%. Sweet. Let's move right along. We've got to go to another box here. <laughs> this is a great set. We've got the rockers right here. Oh, Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty. Interesting story. This set comes with the tag team championships, but they never officially won the tag team championships on air. They had a match against the Hart Foundation, and during that match, one of the ropes broke. The, the Rockers won the match. They won the tag team titles, but then they wound up not airing that episode because the rope broke and it was a screwy finish. That's interesting. I that's that's something I did not know. Oh well, yeah. But that that's that's cool. It makes the. Uh, the fact that they included that accessory in there, even more interesting. Oh, and sure. I love the attire. Nice little piece of history. Yeah, and well, they're, they're basically the same figure except for the heads. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice little way of, uh, you know, Jack's getting away with murder on us. <laughs> oh, for sure. Awesome. Let's keep going. All right. This is cool. Oh, this is early Hulk. Yeah. That's, he's got the singlet on, you know, he's not, not wearing his signature uh, signature attire. Well, this is before the days of Hulkamania, I believe. Yeah. Like, uh, he just wore this, you know, very similar to Thunderlips and Rocky Three type uh, attire. I think it's cool, it, it pops, it's giving me Harley Race vibes with that uh, uh, coat or jacket, whatever you want to call oh, it. Oh, yeah, I, I've never seen this figure up close, at least with this uh, jacket and... Again, the accessories are killing me. I'm loving seeing this stuff up close. It's cool. It's cool. Totally. Oh, this is a fun one. Oh I, my I've gosh. Got, I've got a bit to say about this one. This Great. Is, this is a very interesting set because recently they came out with Mattel repros of both of these. Even though... Did I sell these to you recently? You did. That's. I was gonna say this is a this is a set that I recently purchased from Greg here. Uh, uh, loose, 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 mind you. <laughs> but yeah, it looks cool. I didn't know that they came with those accessories, which is uh, definitely a nice addition. Oh yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna pick up the Mattel version of these if I can yeah. find them, because you know, figures, was it, uh, figures are hard to find nowadays. <laughs> absolutely. Was it the uh, Elite 82? I think it was. It was the very very recent release. It's a blur. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They, they, the, the, it exists. Steve, the Steve Austin's around, but they came out with a matching, uh, what's his name, Brian Pillman, mm -hmm. two years ago at least. Yeah, that was Elite 47, yeah. I and, think. And the vests don't exactly match, too. So, like, this is actually a great set if you can find it. For sure. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Ric Flair, Barry Windham. What a cool set. This is a fun set. A lot of these figures came with the Four Horsemen t-shirts. And, you know, you can mix and match them, but a lot of them actually came with different Four Horsemen t-shirts. Not a lot of the ones that match the one that Barry Windham is wearing right now. 
I see. That's that's interesting. I didn't 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 really know that. I mean, if we come across some of the other sets, you'll be able to see that once for we sure. Get there for sure. Yeah, I think that the the, the red on that T-shirt really pops there. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, I love that they included the big gold belt there. Big gold belts and one of the most beautiful design belts in wrestling history. It's definitely in my top two or three. I really want Edge to beat Roman at WrestleMania and bring that belt back. That would I, be, I would die. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be really cool. I, I hope that Edge just just faces Roman. Honestly, that would be cool. Be a great match. I would love to see it spear versus spear. <laughs> This is interesting. This is interesting, considering that we just came yes. from uh, that Four Horsemen shirt. So we got Lex Luger and Dean Malenko, and they're wearing two different Four Horsemen t-shirts, which is really cool. Even though I prefer my t-shirts to match on my figures and on my stables, I have this awesome <laughs> Evolution 4-pack that has all the matching t-shirts, and I just love it. That's cool. Yeah, th this is looking like a cool set here. Um, I honestly... I'll be totally honest, I do not know a lot about Dean Malenko. Really? I, I, I've seen maybe one or two matches, and I, I feel horrible that I don't know more. If you don't know a lot about Dean Malenko, Henry, you should go check out some of his work with Chris Jericho and WCW. Some of their storylines are fantastic. I think that's that's like the one Dean Malenko match I've seen versus Chris Jericho. Love but, it. But um, yeah, that's that's been on my bucket list. This also comes with the light heavyweight championship. It's funny because that belt had a red strap and a black strap, but I think around the time Dean won it, the belt went through that transition. I'm pretty sure he won the red belt and then he wound up uh, taking over the new design of the black belt. That's cool, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a Jax belt have a different color strap. I, 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 might, I might be totally wrong the, on that. I think, I? I think there's a few, uh, there's a few white Intercontinentals kicking around. Okay. There was also a ringside exclusive gold dust that had the gold strap on the oh, Intercontinental that's cool. Championship. That that's awesome. Yeah, awesome. Let's move along. This, I believe, is the last uh, two pack here. Oh, we're looking at Arn and Tully again. Another great set. Really cool one. I love that it's like the red and black too, instead of both of them just in the black attire this time. Definitely, the belts are looking looking uh, fine as as. As ever. I mean, I can't not look at these guys and think of FTR also. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. Very, very cool set. We're going to kick it off with some Deluxe. Very cool. They always did a better job with the head scans on the Jax Deluxe. The paint looks great on this. I'm just not wild about the scale. I don't own any Deluxe Aggression or Jax uh, Classics Deluxe because, like, they're slight, they're like eight inches tall instead of your six. I see. Yeah, and yeah. then they get they get really loose from bending them around, and I just wasn't a big fan of this line. In the box, though, they look beautiful. I agree. I, I totally know what you're saying about the the joints getting all uh, loose. I've I've had that happen when I used to play with my toys, um, and yeah, but it's it's a cool attire, cool attire for sure. And also, interestingly enough, it comes with the uh, ring skirt. You could, I believe you can throw onto a Jax Authentic Scout Ring. Really, I didn't see that until yeah, right now. Yeah. That's a pretty, pretty ring skirt it comes with. Yeah, what, that what is a, fun. Do you remember what WrestleMania that was? Was it? It looks like it says WrestleMania 2. WrestleMania 2. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Beautiful. For sure. Awesome. Awesome. All right, Henry, what's next? This oh, one that's is too pretty. sweet right here. Totally. We've got Mr. Scott Hall. Razor Ramon, he is looking uh, quite fine in his... Uh, hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo, that's right. I know that Mattel released this version as a ringside exclusive, which I've had um, for Ooh. brief periods of time. Was it the Deluxe that was the ringside exclusive? Th so this is the Deluxe right here, and yeah. the ringside exclusive was the Mattel Elite. Yes, that's what yeah. it was. That's for sure. Pretty great figure, though. It's got a cool look to it. I, I love the... Uh, I don't know if that's a zebra... Kind of has a zebra feel to it. Yeah, he has. A, he always had this like dripping type of like yeah. thing to his attire, but like it was paint or I think it was more or less blood. But like he always had this kind of dripping sense to his attire that I couldn't really understand or for sure can elaborate more on right now. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. That's it's cool. It's got a cool look. I remember when he went to the red attire when he was in NWO. Mm. It was like the same thing but red. Yeah. And I know Mattel released that in an elite line a few years ago. Yeah. 
That's that's cool. That's very cool. It's a pretty cool one. Sweet. Another deluxe here. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that head scan. That is intense. That's cool. He, he looks absolutely, for whatever reason, I think it's just because he's wearing trunks, but he looks jacked in that figure. I think this figure is also commemorating the time he scoop slammed Yokozuna. Yeah, he yeah. was doing that like across the United States challenge or something. I don't remember the history that well, but it was a good one. <laughs> it was cool. It was cool for sure. Yeah. Comes and, with the world again, comes with a ring skirt. Yeah. Oh, really? Another yeah. one. Also comes with the World Heavyweight Championship. They even did the little paint details on the belt to make those rubies pop. Oh yeah, that's, I love that's that. cool. I remember having to do that with all my World Heavyweight titles with a little Sharpie or a little paintbrush. <laughs> You gotta get it just right. I need those details, it's important. It, it's, it makes or breaks the, the figure. Yeah, that's pretty. This is the last deluxe of this bin, but I'm sure we'll find more. Yeah, who knows what we're gonna find. <laughs> who knows? Awesome, we're looking at Ravishing Rick Rude. I've never seen this robe before. He, like, I've come across his uh, black robe with gold sparkles, I've come across his red robe with silver sparkles, but no, I've never seen the black and silver together. The belt is also painted very beautifully on this one too. Yeah, it's got it's got a cool look to it for sure. I like that robe. Um, it looks like a. It looks really cool. I'm curious to to see if he's wearing black uh, pants under there. Yeah, who knows what he's wearing? For the, oh, actually, but uh, a little. Let's turn. This shows us it has a. Oh, it's green. Shows us a classic green attire, which is really nice. That's nice. Yeah. Awesome. All right, we're going to start getting into singles figures now because we got through our three packs and two packs, hopefully. So, who are we starting off with? Starting off with Val Venus right here. Hello, ladies. <laughs> this has got a cool cool look to it for sure. Oh, uh, this guy was ridiculous. He had a porn star gimmick. He wore a towel out to the ring. They gave us that soft goods towel, which is really cool, too. Yeah, for sure. The, the figure itself, I mean, the box uh, has a little bit of work to do on it, but. Oh, yeah. You know, it's it's, it's looking cool. This one up a little. But from what we've gone through so far, like, this is probably one of the worst packaging we've. Scene. Oh yeah, you know, can't win them all. Maybe the, the dirty <laughs> packaging is, is a reflection of his dirty gimmick. Oh, I love that's, it. That's it. I love it. We cracked the code. <laughs> all right, What's question next? for you. Did you file your taxes this year? Oh boy. <laughs> We're getting into IRS. Father of Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, this is a great figure. I love I love figures that come with actual glasses accessories. They're they're kind of hard to come by. People lose them, and you know I don't even have a pair of that accessory on my own. But yeah, this is a great figure. That, that it, it can be very easy to lose that those glasses. So that's a cool one. And uh, I like also very minor detail for the tie. It's got a cool. Uh, oh yeah, it's got a nice print on to it. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice. Was that Bruiser Brody? That's right. Oh, that's a pretty figure. It's looking cool. It's kind of giving me like a. Who's that guy of the Highlanders? Uh, Rory and Roddy? Yeah, that for some reason that head scan kind of reminds me of, of him. Yeah, beautiful head scan on this. I don't know a whole lot about him as a wrestler, but they definitely capture his likeness really well with this figure. They give you a little, little like fur leg warmers on the bottom. Comes with the chain. Looking cool. Great figure. Looking cool. Yokozuna. It's a cool figure. It's a cool figure. I like it a lot. It, it has the uh, classic red attire. That's yeah. what he's most signature. It, that is his signature attire. Yeah. Um, I think that Mattel has released this figure a few times, um, and they did a good job with it. Yeah. Um, but I think this one also just comes with a belt. It's it's got a very cool design, and uh, I I like this figure better than the Mattel. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Mattel. Um, I don't know, their torso on Yokozuna is never really quite right. I'm, I'm not wild about it. It kind of messes up the whole belly that he's supposed to have as yeah. his character. And that, that belly crunch in the middle of the Elite doesn't do it for me. For sure. Yeah. Cool. Beautiful. We've got Triple H right here. Yeah, his, his, um, this is his first one of his first attires when he premiered in WWE. It's kind of interesting because he didn't win that style of the Intercontinental title until he was in DX, I believe. Really? Yeah. That's that's pretty cool, yeah. yeah. I, um, so are you, are you saying that he wore that belt um, not in this attire? He wore he wore the older he he wore the older model in this I attire, see. I believe. Gotcha. Yeah. He also had it in the white and the black. Sure. Okay. Makes sense. I'm gonna yeah. have to do a lot of research on all these figures here. I mean, this is more of a learning experience than anything else, really. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> Cool. 
styling and profiling into my light box, we have Woo! Ric Flair. This is another one where the accurate championship doesn't come with the figure. He comes with the undisputed championship from That's like odd. 2004. That's very odd. And this yeah. is uh, this is obviously his attire from uh, um, his retirement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mania 20, uh, 24. Yeah, this this fi here's the thing. This figure's all over the place. The head scan doesn't match the head scan pictured on the side of the box. Mm -hmm. It comes with the wrong belt. It comes with the robe that you know depicts his retirement. But also that head scan doesn't match when he retired. It makes me wonder if maybe this figure, if he wore like a similar robe one on a random day. That has to be and, it. Um, it and maybe that's, some this attire is not from that event. It has to be some sort of mashed up tribute, but it's a great figure. I like it. Hey, any, anything Ric Flair is going to be a, a pretty cool figure. You don't see that head scan a lot too, where he's actually doing the woo. Uh, they put that on a ringside exclusive Jax back in the day from when he won the 93 Rumble. Gotcha. Yeah. That's cool. I like it. Handsome Jimmy Valiant, I awkwardly have this figure loose. Oh, really? I got it for like a dollar at a comic shop, and I'm like, hey, this is someone I don't know who it is, so <laughs> let's find out who it is. Yeah, I, I'll be honest, I've never seen a Jimmy Valiant match before. Henry, when we're allowed to hang out in real life someday, let's like get together and watch some Jimmy Valiant. That would be cool. Yeah, it would. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> this is a very cool figure right here. Papa Shango is uh, one of the best characters one of my favorite characters, I should say, from uh, the Attitude Era. I love this attire here. He's he's just looking like a... They're crushing it with a paint job. Yeah. Too. It's really cool. Absolutely. Yeah. And and this is interesting, because cause I, I vividly remember buying this figure in the Mattel version, um, and they've released this attire a few times, but this is this is a, a, fun, a fun figure. Oh yeah, totally. Love it. We got a cool one here. Oh Referee. no way! Danny Davis. <laughs> oh, this dude was notorious for just screwing people over left and right. You recently got the uh, Danny Davis build it for you. Yeah, I sure yeah. did. Yeah, you had to complete the set, and uh, it's cool. Yeah, I'm glad they were able to put this one out in a Mattel form too, because this this one's up there as far as Jack's classics. Go. It is. Yeah, well, it's a, it's got a cool look too, but he's got the classic referee, um, classic referee attire. We don't get a whole lot of referee figures. There's like six Earl Hebner figures, and like, I, what I would love is a Charles Robinson in this Danny Davis attire from WCW. That would be cool. That'd yeah, be cool. very cool. I'm surprised they haven't done that already. Yeah, get to work, Mattel. He sets up the ring for you guys, for Christ's sake. That's He's got true. the chairman of the board. I McMahon. love this figure. I have this figure loose. Um, it's such a fun one. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, I actually bought this exact figure before. Yeah? I did, yeah. This was at a, uh, I remember I was on vacation and I went to this random hole in the wall comic store oh, yeah. and they had this one. I found this one in a comic store a few times too. Yeah. It's got, it's, it's, it's very classic, you know. Oh yeah. Very classic. The, um, the newer Mattel McMahon kind of captured these likenesses too, but I really like the Jack's classic version. I think that's very cool. Who's next? We've got up next Rocky oh, Maivia. Rocky Maivia. This is a fun figure too. Mattel created this. Um, Mattel did a version of this too. That's kind of straight up the same. Mm -hmm. You know. I feel like that's the case with a lot of these single classics right here. Yeah, they took a lot of the popularity that some of the Jax figures got and kind of was just like, yeah, we're going to use that popularity and momentum to just make the same figure but in Mattel form. Yeah. It's it's interesting. You know, it's it's a. Uh, because it, it, to compare one to the other, it's like almost apples to oranges because they're just so different in, as far as articulation goes, as far as um, just overall likeness goes. Mm -hmm. I mean, to compare one to the other, it's like, it's almost like comparing like a film from the 1980s to like a film to now. <laughs> I don't know if that was the best analogy, but... <laughs> <laughs> if it's not, I'll cut it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Who's next, Henry? We've got HBK. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Best of classic superstars right here. Yeah, so this is a re-release similar to like what Mattel does. They'll take like the best four figures of the year. This seems like a very similar deal where it's like a best of classics line. 
like a figure that sold so well that they had to release more to make sure everyone got it. Everyone has to have their Mr. WrestleMania. That's, mm -hmm. that's a fact. Everyone deserves their WrestleMania moment. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. All right. Who do we got next? Oh, the Vice President of the United States, <laughs> Kamala Harris. <laughs> that is that is awesome. This is a beautiful figure. They always capture uh, Kamala really well. This is one I actually like the uh, Mattel better, but I can't argue with how awesome this figure looks. The face paint is awesome on this dude. Yeah, I think this one is different than the Mattel version as far as the face paint goes. I think they did oh, a yeah. different design there. Yeah, looking at it up close, they definitely captured the face paint better than on uh, this figure than the Mattel. Yeah. Like, you can see the actual, like, you can see it in the head skin that there's that layer of paint on the head skin, which is really cool. For sure, yeah, I think that they did a great job with that. Mm. I also like the, um, the, I don't even know what you call it, it's like a towel kind of thing. Oh, it's, um, yeah, his towel. Yeah, his towel. <laughs> his uh, his loincloth, that's gotcha. what it's called. That's it. Yes. But, again, another beautiful pickup for Henry today. This is I'm excited. Amazing. Who do we got? All right, well, Wanted Dead or Alive. Oh. We've got Mr. This is Cactus Jack, who doesn't want to stay on, uh, you know what? I have to just do a little bit of... Yeah, Cactus Jack, very similar to the one we already saw in the three-pack, but it comes with a cloth shirt and the baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire. He's also got his finger gun hands, which is really cool. But, um, yeah, again, I actually, I, I have this figure on my shelves. Yeah, that's I just cool I just realized that. Yeah, all a really cool figure. Uh, barbed wire bat is a really cool addition. We don't see that a lot. Mm. I mean, wasn't very popular with any other wrestler, so made sense to put it in with him. Yeah, very fun figure. We got the fabulous, fabulous Moolah. Moolah. They did a great job with this figure. I agree. That jacket is looking uh, very, very, it's very. It stands out. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these ones, I didn't bring it up, but a lot of these figures, they come with this little ticket. That um, if you collected like all 22 of the tickets, you could send away for an exclusive figure. But I don't oh, really? remember which one it was. That's that's a cool uh, marketing approach there. Oh yeah, I like it. I mean, instead of buying four figures for a build a figure, you have yeah. to buy 22. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's interesting. Great figure. Coming up next, this is another figure that I bought from you before in the past. Oh, made. that's a fun one. He comes with some great accessories, too. <laughs> God, God, Big John Stud. Big John Stud. He is he is looking really cl really clean there. This is his classic attire here. It's not, uh, it is definitely, if you want a Big John Stud, this is the one to get. Oh, totally. It's very similar attire to the one that came out from Mattel, but I really like what they did with, like, all the body hair on this figure. It is everywhere, and it's just so precise. I love it. It really captures his uh, likeness there. Oh, okay. totally. Right, what's next, Henry? I have a feeling this guy was a big superstar Billy Graham fan. Oh, really? Are we getting into a whole box of them? We've got five consecutive figures right here. Henry, let's breeze through them. I love it. Let's go. <laughs> let's speedball. Actually, you know what? They might. You got some doubles? Interesting. I think this is a variant. Yeah, we got something going on. Right. We'll go through these two first. So here we got... Yeah. This uh, Billy Graham here with this really, really cool coat here. Well, you got him in his like shaved face attire. That's I don't really know him from that era. I know yeah. him from more. I know him more or less from having. Yeah, I think. Do, I, do you I have the one right, with the right up there? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's see what yeah. it, what it looks like in yeah. comparison. Yeah, I, I love that you got your options here, but um. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's pop this one in, and then I'll right pop here. the elite in as well. This is the alternate version of it. It's the same exact tire as you can kind of see there. Yeah, but uh, different. It's different. Okay, we'll, I'll just pull this one out. We'll hopefully, get that one to stand up. And this is a. Uh... Yeah, that's insane. So we got this one. Um, it is different just a different head scan same attire though kind of like a scan. basic like kind of a basic reprint from what you get from uh from some jacks figures yeah but, for sure yeah really fun one and we'll continue the trend of billy graham with... oh yeah we've got this uh classic pink attire here oh that's a fun one too 
It seems like he didn't take very good care of his. Yeah, uh, well, he's still like grandma. standing up right now, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, another fun figure, just you know, straight basic pink. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's a moment behind this. Neither of us obviously don't. Yeah. I mean, both of us obviously <laughs> don't know what's going on, but uh, if you remember some of the moments from when Billy Graham wore these, yeah, leave stuff. it in the comments. Educate us. Help us out. <laughs> um, now, Henry, the one I see in your hands right now. This is cool. I'm gonna save that one for last. Oh, okay. I think that that's cool. Got, uh, we'll we'll get this one. It's just another basic Billy Graham. You don't see a whole lot of feather boa with him. Yeah. This one is just basic, no accessories or anything. So we can we can breeze, breeze past through. this mainly because I'm excited for what's in that package right now. Take a look at this beauty right here. We're looking at a one of 3,000 Superstar Billy Graham black and white figure. This is a gem, this is pretty. I don't know anything about why they made the figures look like this. Yeah. Can you, can you, can, do you know what? No, I don't know why this is a black and white exclusive. He could have wrestled in black and white television, mm -hmm. but that's really the only idea I can come up with right now. That's interesting. So again, if you know your Billy Graham, let us know in the comments about what's going on with this figure, because this is a fun one, too. I, I like it. I like it. Um, moving right along, we have... Uh, the body. The body, Jesse Ventura. Jesse the body Ventura. I'm pretty sure this isn't the only one we're going to get into today. So oh, we'll yeah. start here. Jesse the body Ventura, former governor of Minnesota. And, you know, this, this box got a little beat up, but, you know, it's a fun figure. Look at that attire. Yeah, I, I like that. I like the pink trunks on there. They're not trunks, they're pants. I like the pink pants on there. They look really cool. Oh, totally. Um, yeah, well, cool cool figure. I don't know a whole lot about Jesse Ventura. I should I should brush up on uh, my... Totally. My information there. All right, who's next? got Bobby the Brain Heenan here. Bobby the Brain Heenan. Very similar to the one that we saw in the three pack earlier. But um, is, this, is this suit sparkled? Like, does he have like little, little yeah, spatter on yeah, there or something? So. I think that was intentional. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. That's it's got a cool look to it. I mean, Bobby the Brain Heenan is so iconic. So oh, you, you have to have a good Bobby the Bobby the Brain Heenan thing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> cool. And we've got a really cool one up next. Is this our last one before we dig into a new box? I think so. Awesome. We're looking at a 1 in 1800. I believe it's Toy Fair or some sort of convention exclusive. Um, it's just Roddy Piper. You got a black attire. You got, you got a black t-shirt with it and a continental title. You got your kilt and you got your microphone because if you don't know this, Roddy Piper was absolute fire on the microphone. He uh, paved the way for or he, he was an inspiration to so oh, many wrestlers. Like, so. paved the way for Miz, MJF, like yeah. anyone who's CM just Punk, all them. hot on the microphone. They were all into Roddy Piper. Definitely. Oh, I love this figure. I, I, I love it a lot. Yeah. Big boss man right here. Oh, and that classic, uh, like classic police officer attire. Yeah. That's really cool. I, I, I love Big Boss Man. He's got, you know, just that such such that authoritative gimmick. Which oh, is, totally. Uh, totally, you know, shit worked. Yeah, this so. is before he cooked Al Snow's dog, so oh, like, yeah. he was still a good guy at this point. Yeah. Yeah. But I love that little ball and chain that comes with it. It's like so shiny. Yeah, it's got some gloss to it for sure. Oh, oh totally. Great figure. Awesome. Who's next? We've got the money, Shane McMahon. I have this figure loose and I love it, but like this figure is popping so much more than the one I own because it's still in the package. Mm -hmm. But beautiful figure. Definitely. Comes with a cool belt there. European yeah. Championship, yeah. Yeah, blue really stands out there. Oh man, this figure pops so well. I love it. Definitely. We've got Greg the Hammer Valentine. Oh, the hammer, that's a great robe. Great robe, yeah. Looks looks really cool. Um, we've got a uh, ticket in the back there. Another one, yeah. The box is a little smashed up. This yeah. is gonna be great for a loose collector if they're able to pick it up off you. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. We've got the real American. Oh wow! Just pulling that one straight out. <laughs> Not even saving it for last. Oh, you got this awesome uh, Hall of Fame exclusive. Um, one of 3,000 Hulk Hogan from his Hall of Fame speech where he wore, you know, a sleeveless tuxedo. Yeah. Very that's, cool that's figure. Awesome. This is a Toy Fair exclusive. Toy Fair, yeah. yeah. That's got a really cool look to it. I, I'm going to have to research this one because I feel like 
I should be more in awe of it than I am. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna look into that one. Well, yeah, definitely go back and watch that Hall of Fame speech. And like, it was right around that time when this figure was made that that uh, transition from Jax over to Mattel nice. almost happened, or was that transition of Jax to Mattel was happening at the time. So yeah, this is kind of a fun one. Right on. Yeah. We've got Mr. Jimmy Superfly Snooka Superfly here. Superfly Jimmy Snooka. Vince McMahon helped this guy cover up a murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 This is a fun figure too. I have this one loose and this one absolutely kills me with loose ankle joints. It's because of those bare feet. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I could imagine. I mean, same thing happened with my Russo figure. You know, they were just all over the place. Well, this is a fun one, too, because the only Mattel figure of Jimmy Snuka we got was that attire where he was with the pants and the boots, and that's not how I remember Jimmy Snuka. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Very cool figure. You got the uh, Barbarian right here. Oh, my goodness. I love that beard on it. <laughs> like, I wish my beard looked that good. He's got a cool beard for sure. Yeah, this is another basic one though that they, it seems they just pushed out. No accessories, no real moments that yeah. like you can really remember from that attire. Just a straight brown, and you know I don't know a whole lot about the Barbarian, so like that's Not really all you're gonna yeah. get. Awesome, sweet. Oh wait, wait, hang on. With that with that Barbarian theme, we've got another Barbarian. Oh, this one does come with an accessory. Ooh, I love that. This is when he was in the tag team with Warlord. You're probably gonna come across that Warlord in that box. Oh yeah, I can see it right now, actually. Yep, I, looks, looks like we're gonna out. get into that one next, so. <laughs> We've got the Warlord right here. The Warlord, yep. If I can get it to stand. Yeah, keep your hand there for a moment. Oh, right. oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh. <laughs> Warlord, another great figure. Then we'll just, uh, yeah. That's that's it. Yeah, that's really it. No, no costume accessories or anything like that. So. One, one more. I think Very this fun. is. Is this the exact same figure? No, I, that's a variant that comes with the accessory. Oh, I see. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, so that's a cool one. Yeah, we're probably gonna find another barbarian too. Who knows? We'll see. Actually, I think I, we did see two bar barbarians there. Did we? Oh yeah, we did. Awesome. Oh man. I do not know who this guy is. I have this figure. We're looking at the genius, Lanny Poffo. Now, Henry, mm -hmm. out of all the wrestlers you know, who does Lanny Poffo look like? He's kind of looking like Terry Funk a little bit. That's funny. I think he kind of looks like Macho Man. Oh, yeah. I can, I can see that. Lanny Poffo is the brother of Randy Poffo, otherwise known as Macho Man oh, Randy Savage. It, it all makes sense now. You yeah. See, this, this is why I'm here. Oh, yeah. Well, I, it's, it's great because the genius... Just his character didn't get over at all. Mm -hmm. Macho Man, though, he freaking rose like cream to the top. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, another fun figure, though. Great soft good accessories on this, too. Definitely. We've got a few more <clears throat> uh, variants here. Oh, I, actually, I'm not really sure if this is a variant. I think this might be the same figure. What yeah. do you think? Well, let's get him in the box and yeah. find out. <laughs> Oh, this is a great figure. Awesome head scan. It comes with the toothpick in the mouth. Definitely. I love that. But yeah, it looks like you did get two of them. Yeah, I, think, so. I believe this is the same one right here. Unless they made a variant, but uh, yeah, it's, it's Razor Ramon, you know. No, I was looking for designs on the vest. No, these are the same figure, but yeah. still, you got one in great shape. Yeah. This sure. one, not so much. <laughs> All right, coming up next is a figure that you you talked to me about. We've oh got, my goodness, I'm excited for this one. We've got Killer. We got Kowalski. Killer Kowalski here. This dude is a legend. Absolute and icon. This is one. Sure. This is one I tried to find a loose figure up everywhere. And like loose figures of this go up for like forty to sixty dollars. Really? So you got a good one here. The box looks great. It needs a little cleaning up, but like a lot of these. A lot of these little spikes yeah. and stuff is mm -hmm. the stuff you really had to focus on keeping mint if you wanted your set to be mint. We're yeah. finding a lot of these that <laughs> aren't it, remotely close to that situation. Yeah. <laughs> but you've uh, got a great lot here. Yeah, right? for sure. I'm for sure. excited for you. I'm, I'm looking forward to going through all these once more. We've got coming up here, Dusty Rhodes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I have this one too. It's not one I display because I have like two other Dusty Rhodes figures right now. And like this one, like they kind of give him that 
I, I feel like they should have given him more of that Yokozuna body than that like mm-hmm. kind of pudgy body. He was he was a he was huge. I mean, oh, yeah. He was like three fifty or something guy. like that. Yeah. yeah, he was he was definitely. Uh, um, but I mean, I definitely an icon. You know, he still he did so much for NXT today. He, he is uh, the American Dream. You know, we can really yeah and appreciate the, the, Dusty. This isn't the only Jax classic Dusty. Okay, Rose, so yeah, they did do a, like I think a one to three thousand in his polka dot. I see. In his polka dot attire. Right on. Yeah. We've got... This is a cool one. This is one of the ones I might try to get off you today. <laughs> I love this figure. They recently came out with a Mattel that has that The Rocks $500 shirt, and that Mattel is just skyrocketed. It so is. you got a good one here. It's in... Pretty great shape as far as the box goes. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of dust on the top, but that's with every, yeah, every all, other all one. the little spikes are in place, or just yeah. not bent or anything, and beautiful figure. It's a cool I, one. I'm just going to keep this up on the camera for a few more seconds because it's just so pretty. Feast your eyes. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> We've got coming up next here, Lance Storm. Dude, this is another one I kind of <laughs> want to get off you today. Let's Dude, sure. this is one, this is a WCW tire, I'm pretty sure, and this is one I think is worth close to $100 in the box. Really? You got a good, you got a good one here. I remember last time seeing it go for like 65 in the box, but you know how much wrestling stuff yeah. has jumped up in the I mean, past two years. Right now, is there's never been a better, t- um, well, I, wanna, I, I was going to say there's never been a better time to be a collector, but if we're talking about prices... It could definitely hurt the wall a bit. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. And you know, nothing says, could I be serious for a minute, than that head scan. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's a serious head scan. Yeah, that's head a scan. fun one. We've got, uh, right here, Mr. Zeus. Zeus, recently passed away. You got that Z shaved into the side of his head, and you know, for like the very few moments in No Holds Bar that he's in, that's like really all they were trying to pull off with this figure. But this one fetches a pretty penny too, especially after he passed away. Yeah. So I'm hoping you're able to get a good price for this. Yeah, one. I'm hoping this goes to a to a big Zeus fan. Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. You, you put this one in this in this uh, oh, for good reason in this case right here. Awesome. I remember seeing you take a picture of this one, actually, when you pulled a random figure out of your bin, I think you said? Yeah, I had a and, uh, I, I was looking to post a figure one day on Instagram, and I just pulled a random photo out and took a picture of this one. But yeah, this is a great, great figure. I didn't notice how cool those goggles looked up close. I have custom painted goggles for mine, so it's oh, yeah. not the actual <laughs> one that comes with the figure, but... Mm-hmm. You know, I do what I can. <laughs> yeah, I think out of all the figures I've seen, and granted, this was in that protective bag right there. This one has the cleanest uh, spikes. Oh, right that here. yeah. I don't know if it's from keeping it in the bag, but yeah, this yeah. is one of the cleaner, definitely one of the cleaner figures you've picked up for sure. We've got another um, set of duplicates here, but we've got uh, the dueling Hogan's. Dueling Hogan's. That's right. Very cool. It's got that early NWA Heavyweight Championship. This is before Hulk even hit WWF. Really? Yeah. That's got a cool look to it. I like the uh, the attire. It's just, just very, very classic. Oh, yeah. It's just not that Hulk Hogan we're used to, and it's still pretty cool. For sure. Yeah. And then um, this one is in a little little worse shape here. Is it a variant, or Actually, is it just is, uh, I think it's the same exact thing. Yeah, that'll go to a nice loose collector, loose probably. Collector. <laughs> it could be you. <laughs> All right. Moving along here. Um, we're almost at the end here. We're almost at the end, people. <laughs> um, these we're are close. These, these are the autographs. Really? These, yeah. I didn't know you got autographs in this box. Yeah, the, he, there was one box. I think there's like eight or so. A few of them were in Mattel's, but um, we've got some autographs. No way. Let's let's let's, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> right here, Kevin Nash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> With a $30 price $30. label on it. That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, this is a fun figure. I like this one better than some of the Mattels they've produced. And yeah, I think I remember seeing that. The Very cool. Yeah, that is... in, in 
uh, Shawn Michaels. I think this was like almost the same figure. That's very clean too. You got yeah. like the box is in great shape. There's not a whole lot of dust, and you got an For awesome sure. signature going right across it. Yeah, that's that's a cool one. Beautiful, Henry. I love it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna hand that one back oh, yeah, to you. Sure. And we'll, we will. Those will be in their own box. This is a really cool one. Also, one of them in the figure defender here. Ooh! So let's take a look here. Actually, we can't even. I don't know if we can even fit it in there. Actually, there it is. Beautiful. We've got Bob Backlund, and interestingly, this is dated. Yes, Bob. A Bob Backlund is such an interesting person to talk to when you meet him because really? he's so enthusiastic about meeting his fans. He does the thing like you mentioned. He dated this one. I have a book autographed by him. It was the 54th copy that he signed and, you know. Really? Yeah. So it's really cool that, like, he puts a little extra when it comes to his autograph. I ran into him at the flea market, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, make, make me want to meet uh, Bob Ackman there. That's awesome. Yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah. Cool, Sweet. cool figure. Also in the uh, figure defender. Did you seriously find another warlord? We found another one. This one, uh, <laughs> this one right here is. Uh, this is fun. Yeah, autographs. it's basically the same one we came across before with that accessory. So it looks like the one with the accessory could have been like a chase or a variant. Yeah. But like, yeah. Cool. Definitely cool, uh, really cool, cool figure with the uh, autograph on there. Definitely. Glad it comes in the protector too. Just gonna take care of that. Hopefully you can track down some of these because some of these belong in. in protector cases. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then our last autograph that we have here, we've got, this is cool, Harley Race. Really? He passed away recently, didn't he? He did, like, yeah. Sometime in the last two years? Mm -hmm. uh, he also wrote right there, back into sports it looks like. <laughs> no idea what that says. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's back into sports. Something. Something spirit. I think it's back in spirit. That that would make sense. Back in spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Definitely. Very cool. This is this is another figure that I bought from you pretty recently. Oh, you Please. did you did buy that one from yeah. me. I know, I know I sold you a King Harley race, but yeah. I wasn't sure if I sold you that one. Speaking of King Harley race... Oh, really? We've found a whole other box. We found a whole other box, so we're going to keep going. Yeah, so... <laughs> so we got the King Harley race. This there is a is. great figure. I love this figure, loose. Soft, good cape. You got a rubber ha uh, You got a rubber crown that goes with it. Awesome figure. I Definitely. love it. Definitely. And, you know, let's mention that, like, Mattel tried doing a version of this. They tried. Something <laughs> happened with shipping. I don't know the whole story, but <laughs> only a quarter of those got out. Yeah. And, yeah. like, I'm pretty sure the rest are sitting in a warehouse somewhere. Somewhere. They're coming to a five below near you. Oh <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, well, just keep it. All right. Going tubs. Cool one right here. Brother Love. Oh, this is a great figure. Very cool. Definitely. This has got a, got a signature attire here, um, a white microphone, that's pretty cool. It's uh, Bruce Pritchard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he comes with his little notebook too and his face has that tint of red to it. Yeah. I'm actually friends with a, uh, an announcer and he he does work with like a bunch of like a bunch of sports teams in the area in Boston here. And uh, he actually had dinner with Bruce Pritchard. Really? Brother Love, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, kind of a cool, very cool, cool one. Yeah, this is one I had loose a long time oh, yeah. ago. I love that it comes out with a white microphone as well. <laughs> That's neat. We got uh, Arn Anderson. It's our third Arn we come yeah. across, and it's the third different figure we came across yeah. as well. Definitely a little dusty. A little bit. <laughs> just, just, just a little. Just a hint. Yeah, that is going to take some... What, actually, you know what? Give me a suggestion. What should I do to get rid of that dust? Oh my gosh, don't put me on the spot. <laughs> um, I Honestly, I think like... Uh, like a, a rag with like a little bit of water on it to start. Maybe even try to like feather dust off what you mm -hmm. can first. Air compressor, whatever you can get gotcha. dry off first before you have to add some sort of like wetness to yeah. the plastic and cardboard you're trying to keep nice. We want to we want to keep this uh, keep this uh, PG. Yeah, <laughs> that made no sense. <laughs> awesome. All right. Here we 
keeping with the theme of the four horsemen here, we have Next. Barry Windham. That's a great Barry Windham figure. I love that, and I love how everything... Again, I'm just loving how clean everything is as we come across it. Definitely. Very the blue, cool. Blue on that figure really pops. Really pops. And, uh... Yeah. Head scan's all there, too. Good scan. Very cool. Got another, um... This is a really cool one. Oh, Jesse this is Ventura. a very cool one. This is one I think I might try to buy off. Oh yeah. <laughs> very cool. Yeah, it's got a got a really cool it's got that gold, on there. He's got that gold wig, he's got zebra print, he's got leopard print, he's got like he's got a suit jacket and his t-shirt on. And this guy was just all over the place with his attire. I love it. Definitely. Very cool. Definitely. I'm gonna look at this one a few seconds longer when oh, we yeah. get the next figure ready. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, any ones that you want that you're you're looking to uh be the first to get um, put aside. Whatever you Very nice. All right, this is interesting. What do you got? Gorilla Monsoon. Ooh, Ooh that's in, a fun in one. A pretty unique attire here. It's almost like a King Kong Bundy singlet. Well, yeah, this is his wrestling attire, but most of the Gorilla Monsoon I'm familiar with, I believe they made another Jack's figure of it, was they him did. in his commentary attire. I think it was like a plum colored suit, something like that. Mm. But very fun piece, Gorilla yeah, Monsoon. All right, Love so it. I feel like it would be appropriate to maybe do these two together. Yeah, know? let's let's see if we can jam them in the box. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Hawk, the Hawk, and we have Animal. Oh, very nice, very very clean. Um, oh, these are beautiful. These pop so much yeah. better than the Mattels. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Definitely. I like the blue attire here. I'd argue that I like it even more than the red, which is what they're known for, obviously. Henry, I'm tempted to trade you my Mattel Elite Leaves No Doom for these. Dude, I, I'm... I think that it, it's a... Uh, I think we'll talk about that no, when, I th we're, I when think we're off camera. I think we'll do that. Yeah, because that, that's a half an hour conversation right Absolutely. There. Awesome. Minimum. <laughs> Very cool. Definitely. Awesome. <laughs> Junkyard dog right here. JYD, it's pretty much the same one as the Mattel, but yeah. I like this one better because it, it captures that beefiness. Mm -hmm. Like, I like having Jack's figures in my life because if they're a physically bigger person and it makes sense for them to be like next to a cruiserweight style Mattel figure, then they're going to really complement each other Definitely. on the size. Definitely. I like also the chain on this one. For whatever reason, it sticks out to me more than the Mattel one. Well, I think the Mattel one is a rubber chain. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. so like automatically. The fact that they went out and did up. metal accessories, they did some figures with like a metal chain and stuff like that. Yeah. Like I can't specify, like I can't even like glorify Jax enough for making fantastic wrestling figure accessories. Yeah, no, this this guy is the king of accessories. You have Shinsuke Nakamura, who's the king of strong style. And then you have Gregory Nelson, who's the king of the accessories. Oh my goodness, I love it. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> All right. Doink the clown. They did two of these. They did a doink. They did an evil doink. Oh, they did. Really? Yeah. So maybe we'll come across it. Maybe we won't. Yeah. We'll see. But yeah. Oh my goodness. Just like. The, 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 the pop of those colors. They yeah. crushed it. I feel like we don't get that kind of a pop with Mattel's. Because they don't, they, also, they didn't overcomplicate this figure by giving it like three different wigs and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Just giving you extra parts is just going to take up space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very great, cool great figure. One. Great yeah. one right there. Kind of, we have a very clean one. I, I know who that is before you even like p turned it around to me. Is it Johnny Rods? Sure is. It's <laughs> I, I know Johnny this Rods. because I got his figure loose for like a dollar at a comic book store, and I had to Google who this guy was, <laughs> and I still don't know that whole much. I still don't know a whole lot about him, but I feel like anyone that ends their last name in a Z is automatically cool. In my oh, book. so cool, Taz. <laughs> the Hardy Boys. Hardy Boys. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Definitely. All right, so. Before I show you this one, I know that you're a fan of Jack's figures that are the giants. So, you know, Big Shows, Great Collie. Big guys. They big really guys. just, like, really capture yeah. the character. And to this day, I don't think I know a big guy that was as big as Giant Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is such a funny figure. This is a cool one. They did awesome. this one, um, yeah. and I, I think they did, like, 
Th well, this is like the normal one. This looks clean also. Just seeing all of these in the box. Like, again, I'm going to keep talking about it. Like, I'm just getting chills <laughs> of how clean these action figures oh, yeah. look. And this is what they had to make him bend his knees so they could fit the, fig <laughs> the so they could fit the figure into the box. That's right. Yeah, but uh, they did like I think a one of five thousand. It was either a two pack or like a single figure, one of five thousand figure that had some like little like furry parts around like the um, around like the waist yeah. area and the shoulder area. So for sure. But still, I, great figure. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. I'm going to say the phrase great figure 10,000 more times today. <laughs> this is another one. Oh, right here. Yeah, this is one of the ones I was talking about earlier, having that red robe with the silver sparkles. Mm -hmm. Intercontinental Ooh. Championship. I love the colors. Yeah. Good job, Jack Specific. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, they really complement each other. For Very sure. cool. Also, I feel like Jack's figures never ran into that rub or those like little stains you get from mm -hmm. you know you keeping them mint and card for so long. Yeah, very nice, definitely. While we're talking about colors, take a look at this guy. Oh my goodness, <laughs> boy, does this figure pop! Yeah, I mean, uh. by the way, I don't know if you can see here, but this is behind me my grid wall display, and what I plan on doing here is taking all of these classic superstars. And just making a... Henry, you're living my dream right now. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I told you years ago that like one of my yeah. dreams is having a library of matching Jack's classics. And <laughs> like putting this up on my YouTube channel, that's how happy I am for yeah. you that you picked up this lot. Because this is amazing. Dude, I, I, I have this, this guy to thank here for... for uh... Helping me land these. Yeah, we, we didn't even mention that we filled both of our cars to oh, go yeah. get these. Both of our like, cars. Like, we... We've been doing this video for almost an hour and didn't oh, even man. mention that both our cars were packed to the brim. It was it was magnificent. It was an evening last night, let's just say that. <laughs> Woo! Alright, we got the Sergeant Slaughter here with the camo gear here. Looking... You got the soft good camo jacket, it's yep. beautiful. You got the sunglasses and the hat, the, the likeness of the face is beautiful comes with the, the billy club which is great Definitely. i'm pretty sure this figure also found its way into a two-pack with, yeah. with a soft good jacket definitely yeah but yeah. We, we seem quite a fan, handful of sergeant slaughters already we so did i think this one captures like the sergeant slaughter character we know the best though i think so too i'd be curious to see what his I'm not gonna open it, but I'd be curious yeah. to see what his attire is under there. Well, I'm hoping it's the pictures. well, I'm hoping it's similar to the attire we get right yeah. here. I, w I mean, it could That's be anything else, really. Figure, so, I mean, hopefully, yeah. we, hopefully, we get some of that. Moving right along here, we have Davy Boy Smith. That's pretty. That's a nice one. Yeah. Absolutely. The uh, shirts looking really cool there. Unfortunately, the uh, pegs here are. A little bit bent. I'm pretty sure this figure came with a very similar matching attire um, with in a two-pack with Dynamite Kid. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. But um, it might be a different figure. I, it might be a shirtless figure, I'm pretty sure, come to think of it. But um, still, overall, awesome figure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Speaking of Dynamite Kid. Is that the one that's going to match this figure? Oh, it sure is. No way. Might be worth putting them side by side. Oh, uh, yeah, let's put them side by side. So, I think they are like the exact same figure, except for the head. I've never seen this, these two in person with the shirts. That's cool. Yeah, I very much like this set. Great job, Henry. <laughs> All right, we have one last figure here. Are we on the last figure? I think we're on the last figure. Oh, of, no! Of, of the Jacks. Of the Jacks. Of the Jacks. Oh, we didn't even mention, we're not going to go through them today, but Henry, you picked up, like, at least another 50 Mattels. Oh, yeah, at least. Pro so. Probably more, probably like 70 yeah. or so. And, you know, Mattels, I'm sick of seeing those every day. I wanted to get <laughs> into these Jacks classics that really yeah. reminded me of going to the store and seeing them in the packages. I love it. Something about them just just really stand out. And I'm, I'm really glad to be going through all these because they are just so cool. Awesome. So, without further ado, it's our last one. We've got... No way. That is a pretty figure. <laughs> We've got the Ultimate Warrior right here. Yeah, we do. If we can get it. If we can get it. The there he is. Yeah, this, beautiful This figure. one stands out. The tassels on that. Oh, lovely. Definitely. 
I feel, I feel like this is his, the orange gear is like his signature attire. Oh, it pops. Yeah. yeah. I, I have the orange Mattel one. Here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, the Lost Legends. But like all of those tassels, you got rubber instead of like real yeah. tassels. And that's a, again where Jax would just kill it with these. For sure. I feel like a common theme that we're seeing here between the Jax and Mattels is um, how obviously it's on a case by case basis, but you know, some figures Mattel try to really go the extra mile with, but then some of them. Like these legends right here, Jax really just yeah. goes the extra mile. Well, we also saw some Jax today that's just a figure in a box. We saw yeah. some of those Billy Grahams. We saw like some of the, like the Warlords and or like mm -hmm. Warlord and Barbarian were kind of like that. Some of the figures they had were just a figure, but this is one they went the extra mile on. And I'm pretty sure we might have seen this. Um, this figure actually has. I don't think it's the Winged Eagle belt. I think it's. Um, I think it's the Attitude yeah. Era Big Gold Belt. Attitude Era Belt, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, I mean, just... Cute what what else is there to say, yeah, really? Yeah, really. Ultimate Warrior. Very nice. Definitely. Well, unless we have more figures that we haven't found yet... I'm, right now I'm looking through the mess that is my <laughs> wrestling area, and... Um, I do not see anything else. <laughs> well, Henry, I'm glad we're able to get you somewhat organized and somewhat, oh, yeah. great, somewhat in the right direction. Uh, this was a treat, though. Like, thank you for letting me just yeah. come through and dig through these. Thank you for like letting me be able to like record this for scientific <laughs> purposes scientific, and all that. Yeah. No, so, absolutely, my my pleasure, really. I mean, I wouldn't be able to have all of these if it weren't for your help there. Oh, dude, this so, is just like so much it, fun. So, so. It, it, yeah. Socially there distanced fist bump. Um, that being said, give Henry a follow. All his information will be in the description below. Check out comic collectibles on eBay. Absolutely. I'm gonna put my email in the. Um, I'm gonna put my email in the description below there. And I made some uh, custom stickers. So if you want some free stickers, um, send me an email. Be able to send some some send some your way. Can I have a sticker? Uh, you most definitely can. Yeah! That being said, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, let us know what you thought of this video, tell us what your favorite Jax figures growing up were. Um, and you know, finally, I'm doing all this YouTube stuff lately in exchange for not being able to go to work at a theater, so if you're going to be doing this type of stuff with your friends, wear a mask, stay safe, act like you give a shit about each other, you know, and just support each other so we can all get through this. Absolutely. We both um, we both work in the arts in some kind of capacity. He, well, my friend Greg here does lighting. Yeah. I also uh, play drums here. And, um, you know, live gigs have come yeah, to Yeah, you're a, just starting college out. this year, and, you know, you weren't expecting this at all, no. so... Yeah, no, it's been... Uh, yeah. It's been, been tough, but... Yeah. So, again, thanks again for watching. Stay safe, and, you know, good luck figure hunting out there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>